Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Hours Man and Faces podcast. Digger. We're on you now. Get in. Get in, man. At least he remembered his line this time. Get in. <laughs> Sorry, I was too busy. I was just too excited last night. Um, so, where, where do we even start with this one? Well, like, you hangover. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> oh, mate. We're all a little bit sore. We're all a little bit vulnerable <sighs> at the minute. Uh, I had to get this just to try and sort it yeah, out. Yeah, a Sunday night <clears throat> turned into what felt like a, a Saturday evening for, for a week. It was uh, a... Yeah. Terrible behaviour. Yeah, it was, it was a long one. Like, <laughs> it was a hard one. Tequila, Sambucas. Uh, so so Jaeger bombs in the bury yeah, at Jager one bombs, point. Yeah, yeah. So la- last night was the first and last time Deck I'll ever be allowed out yeah, with so us Deca, after the match. Yeah, so came out. Yeah, I, I said I was going to this time. Um, it won't be... You all right there? I'm fine, yes. <clears throat> I know you've got sore arm um, off carrying that flag for 13 you know was, miles. Honestly, do you know what was hurting? You know, like when you're at the front of the trolley, right? And yeah. you've got to hold it in a certain way. It was hurting it. in there. Aye, uh, like it really was. That's why I stopped holding the trolley there and yeah. started pushing it from the back. So let's get cracking with the game. Game, Newcastle okay. United versus Manchester United. We saw a few changes. I was yeah. yeah. So uh, pretty sure I said uh, last week that oh I'd God l- like to see that happen. Okay. <laughs> you didn't have much of that option, though, did we? Well, no, I disagree. I, I must admit, I disagree. The, the first one I'll say is Yedlin. Uh, people have criticised us for saying that. I think Yedlin is by heading so far ahead of what we've got options at right back. Come in. And he hadn't played for how long? Five months? Seven? I don't know. Five, six months maybe? I don't know. A long time. April? Um, he was April tremendous. Time? Like, March. just night and day compared to what we've had on that side of the field. This season, I think that's a bit unfair on Mankio. Yeah, he's better than Mankio. He's better no, than but Mankio. at least Man- Mankio's came in and covered for him and he's done a good job. And we've, we've sat here week after week saying Mankio's yeah. unlucky he has, he has not to be in the team. Mankio hasn't done a bad job, but Yedlin, he's better. in that game... He's he did look He was good. brilliant. He's yeah, yeah. He did look it was just as, as if he'd never been away. Yeah. You wouldn't that's think that was his first game back, either, was he? Saying, like... That's what I'm saying. Impressive, that one. That's impressive. Yeah, I think the ones that... that uh, the Clark one was a, was a surprise. It's a surprise. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, was it even well, it was, it it the was, game about that? It, probably. And we're saying, like, why why would you bring Clark in over yeah, Fernandez? And I you said, said yeah. Clark's, like, played that position more than well, what Fernandez he's, has. He's the left footed of, of the th- back three. Yeah. He's a left hand side. Now, Fernandez couldn't play left, mm. in my opinion. Uh, he always does, though. Well, he's not as good as Clark at it, though. If Fernandez should be instead of Lascelles. It, it's lovely to have. Uh, yeah, Lejeune, yeah, yeah. Le, Lejeune aside, Lejeune's so talented that he can do it. But to have three centre halves and w- the left hand side is a left footer and the right yeah, hand yeah. side is a right oh, footer. An ideal word. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Yeah. We've got that option. Um, you know, and, and in fairness, you know, Clark. I'm not saying he'd walk into loads of Premier League teams, but he's been very patient, hasn't he? Like he's sitting he on the did, bench. He didn't put a foot wrong. And he's never, you know, he's never complained. I don't hear any bad he's, things about he's him. He's gone through that game under the radar, really. Yeah. He's he, he, like, he, there was at times on the pitch where he didn't even realise he was playing because he was just doing everything he needed yeah. to do. He did some. He brilliant. didn't stand out to, to being fantastic. He didn't put a foot wrong though. It, he did well up the other end as well yeah. for corners and Would stuff. Would you say Dummett deserved to be dropped? Yes, hundred percent. Based on Sunday, the Sunday just before? on the, the week before. Oh, I agree yeah, with you. I agree. With yeah. You. yeah. Yeah. I still think it was a bold decision, though. Yeah, but I, 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 yeah. I would have, as as we we mentioned, it brought Fernandez in over over. Yeah, I would love over it, him. But I, I totally understand why you said that, though. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, can it kind of fall clock for coming in and the job job that he did? And then obviously the the you know the boldest decision of all has to be bringing Matty in. It was yeah. Um, so so you know. before we get on Matty, obviously uh, Sam Maximum got yes. brought in as well. Yeah, so Atu well. lost his his job. His job. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> to, sacked. to be fair, it's, uh, that's a bit harsh on him as well because and he's just sacked. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's on the door. He's saying in. <laughs> turning up, turning up for a game of Blythe the night. <laughs> he lost his position. Right? He's still employed by the club. He hasn't been sacked. Allegedly. <laughs> yeah. No, no, you're right though. You're right. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, Sam Maxman came in, and that was a bit of a risk for me. Obviously, we're not sure how fit he is. Well, but, it, but he looks, we, he we, we found yeah. out as the match went on how yeah. fit he was, I think when, when or, or see, wasn't. When you seen him score that goal in training, I mean, for all his name on tackling him. But apparently that was weeks and weeks ago, you know. Oh, really, was yeah, it? Yeah, oh, apparently well, it was weeks ago. Oh, yeah. fair enough, fair enough. Then. I, just, I just heard that he had been training in full, mm. and if you're training in full, then you're fine. You would have, yeah, you would have thought so. Yeah, but, but, so. But, but, like you said... There's a difference between being being fit and being match fit, though, isn't there? Oh, of course there is, but you're still fit enough to play. Yeah. You know, you, you know. But like you said, obviously... Matty's not going to be match The massive... Bold risk that that Bruce took was putting Matty in there, absolutely alongside Sean as well. Mm-hmm. And let's let's be honest, Sean hasn't had the greatest starts to to this season. No, no, he hasn't. And those two, they just they were fun. It was, it was as, as if they've known each other all their lives. It was fantastic, wasn't it? Uh, I, I I think I've watched the interview sixty times yeah. today. I think uh, 
I've actually watched what Sunes said a hundred times, and I never know who listened to him. Sunes had um, a smile on his face. Was, he had he, a smile on his what face. What he said was unreal, like. But we'll get to that. But uh, yeah, um, go back. Mark said last week. Obviously, you were you were kind of for it. I think you were the yeah, person yeah, that mentioned yeah. bringing Matty in, and I, and I, I was against even the week it. even the week um, before. Yeah. Now, to be fair, I, I just want to clarify something. The reason why I said I wasn't, I was against it, was I was so pissed off, you know, last week doing this, right? I really was, and it was the the sense of thinking in, in my head anyway at the time was, so now we've gotten to the stage in, in we're life, if you like, that we're relying on a kid who's never played before to come in and save a bacon type type of thing. Yeah. And but I was just thinking, is this where we're at? We're But we relied on that like, no, no, with his brother there, that, last year as well, enough, didn't we? So I, it wasn't necessarily me trying to have a dig at Matty. What I meant was, is like, is that where we're getting to? We've got to rely on someone who's never played and, before. And to be fair, when, you know, when so. Sean came in, he came in and, and against was against... Liverpool, yeah, yeah. Liverpool and then Chelsea away and, yeah. and he was the man of the match against playing Chelsea away. Um... You, you can't just, just say any like, like compliments, can you though? Right? Of, of the pair of them. But it just I mean, obviously him him coming into the team brought out the best in his in his brother. He's now made two debuts at, at St James's Park in two competitions and scored on in both occasions. Both occasions yeah. It's mad, isn't it? Man, Absolutely <laughs> mental. Both at the same end, both absolute rakers. Ben Almiron's a bit pissed off. <laughs> it's like <laughs> you played your first game right. Right. <laughs> right. No, I'm kidding, but you know what I mean. Like it's but what a... It's an amazing story. It's just fantastic, man. It really is. I mean, uh, so jumping ahead, he, he said it himself, didn't he? It's the, it's what he's he's dreamt of. And, you know, we, we've, all, we've all sat, you know, as kids having having that same thought yeah. and dream that to one day score a goal at, at the Gallagher end. Yeah. And I, I think as well, take the goal out of it, even if he didn't score that, he was oh, still the best player on the pitch. Yeah, yeah. I thought, oh, yeah. He was still the best player on the pitch. You yeah. know, I thought he Sean actually was very, very close just, to him. As especially well. where yeah. when Sky, after the game, I think they spent a good 15, 20 they minutes analysing those two. Yeah. Yeah. And mm-hmm. even Matty Hayton, there was things what he did, which I didn't even realise in the game. He was like winning balls like an intercept and passes left, right, yeah. and centre. Yeah. He, he done um, really well, well at everything that he had to do. Absolutely. It, yeah. it wasn't absolutely. until I watched Match of the Day 2. That I realised it was Matty Longstaff that had actually in the first half had hit the ball with that dip mm, and shot. I, I, I thought it was Sean. No, Matty, I. Uh, and I was sat at that end for for the game Sean on yesterday. Sean stood right in the room as he so hits it. Like, he did, yeah. There's a good yeah. picture. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's like, hit it like a toy in the garden. Yeah. Someone's put it over. Honestly, <laughs> I, that's the same. I thought it was Sean Longstaff. Stop doing that shit. So yeah, but I think it was in the first few minutes. If we talk about the game, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, Sean uh, won the again, right? This is what we've missed from Diarmi, right? I'm not saying Diarmi's a great player or anything, but in fairness to Diarmi, right? We used to win the ball early. I used to feel in midfield. Yeah. He just straight forward, bang, get someone, we're on the break. Sean did that in the first 80 seconds or something of the game. Uh, someone had the ball. Sean won it early. It, it felt him at same maximum, and he just beat three players right. like they went on the field. And he played Almiron in, yeah. and yeah. Well, Nelly could have scored. Really, I think he could have probably hit it earlier. And I think Saint ran towards the fans almost, like sort of like trying to cheer him up. I say, wow, like within a minute, we've mm. shown more than we did in the first sixty minutes of the Brighton game yeah. in that first minute. Um, and it, and I still think it's about winning the ball higher up the field. So really? obviously, when we had Diarmi, we've said this before on the podcast. Diarmi, it wasn't just to to win the tackle. He used to want the ball, so yeah, he used yeah. to want to make the challenge and have the ball at the end of it. Yeah, a little bit different than what Hayden does. Hayden basically just wants to win the to ball win and the give ball. it away, yeah. isn't it? And yep. where the ball goes, yeah. that's what he just wants to do the tackle. Yeah, and and the difference, like I said, with Diarmi, every time he he challenged for that ball, it looked like he had a, a plan going ahead. I, I agree. And, I don't know. Well, I mean, like, to, to, to keep the ball. The, yeah, like, the, the, problem, the, 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 the problem that Diarmi had, I used to always feel, was when my ball player at that time was Shelby. When he wasn't on the field, Diarmi felt he had yeah. to be that person. Yeah. And all of a sudden, he's trying to spray 60 yard balls yeah. out of play and all sorts. If Diarmi just stuck to what he could do, one thing he could do, he could win the ball early and he at least could travel with the ball yeah. for a period of time. Um, now, Sean can do that. Now, and I thought yesterday, Sean was winning it early. Um, long start, he's Matty. Um, it's when going to be he, confusing this, isn't it? I know, yeah. Um, <laughs> Matt, Matty uh, was spraying balls really well, wasn't he, though? Like, straight away, yeah. pinging. I think his first pass was like a 30 yard. I just straight to feet. I was like, wow. Like, yeah. so confident. There's a couple from the left hand side over at the right to like Al Muron and stuff like mm-hmm. that, and, and to Yedlin. There was a couple like that as yeah. well. It, um, it yeah. just made such a difference to have that energy in, in the middle of the park, and it, it's something totally that right. we've been, you know, missing for a long time. Um, particularly like as you say when we've had Shelby and, and Hayden in there they, they, they'll come deeper and deeper they don't they, they don't go ahead with it as much as, as we're seeing like bar, bar when we talked at the start of the season with Hayden pushing on and, and getting forward um, but from from the off they just you know as you say they were, they were much higher up the pitch let's, let's go getting before, into tackles before and all we've that. even kicked a ball right obviously the night before on the Saturday night the, the image was leaked of the, the my new players getting on the flight 
and then the team was leaked. When I saw that well, team... it was the squad, wasn't it? The it was, squad, yeah. yeah, the squad was leaking it. When I seen that, I was half of those players I was going down at, and I was like, yeah. no idea who that is. Yeah. Not a clue. Well, it, let's, let's be it frank about it. It just shows how, how bad they are at the minute. It's the worst my United team Easy. in my lifetime. Easy. And there was people I was talking to last night that were 60 year old and saying the same. Yeah. In my yeah. lifetime, it's the worst. Now, obviously... How on earth a club can fall that far? I don't quite get it, but like you know, it's it's. Well, terrible. they're they're in a they're, just talked about them for a bit, but they're in a in a big transition period. How they're many times they're have still. Been in a transition period? Well, this this like is this is the problem year, that they've that they've got. They obviously had Ferguson there for a long, long time. They had a team that they they built up and who they actually been it's, through since since Ferguson? Well, obviously Moyes, Keith, Moyes, Van, Van Gaal, Louis Van Gaal. They've had mm-hmm. Jose. Uh, is it, there's someone else? Isn't that someone no, else no, in between? No, no they had, had Moyes. So four. Moyes and then... Um, I thought there was someone in. else that was in for a small amount of time. Uh, was it not a caretaker appointment? Like, um, Giggs? Giggs, Giggs came in. Giggs was, was Giggs manager for a while yeah, as well. Yeah, Giggs yeah. came in, didn't he? Give it to Giggs at the end of the season. That was when the joke came along. Whatever it was. Uh, yeah, but I, what I would say, I know we'll talk about these really, but Mourinho, when you look at what he did, they finished second, you know? They finished second in the league, man. Now, the problem you've got is is the expectation of them as a club at that time was yeah. second's not good enough. Second's not good enough. When you look at it now, the, the, I think they won the Europa League and they came second. Like, my God, like that's tremendous. Yeah. And you've heard Mourinho say after that that he, he keeps saying that's his greatest achievement as manager. As well, with that squad. With that squad coming second. Now, everyone laughs and think, why are you talking shite? But let's be fair. Like, they have, I know they've got a few injury problems, but... The bottom line as well, I, I appreciate the recruitment's being shit, Ed Woodward's shit, the Glazers, Glazers have just took a billion pound out of the club apparently. Are they? Yeah, like, I understand this hell on, I get that. However, based on what they've got available, Solskjaer has got them playing a style of football which is just absolutely shit. They were shocking. The, the, the most easiest team I've ever seen that you can defend against. Yeah. Because they're so, they're so slow in transition. How many times we lost the ball? We lost the ball yeah. in daft areas. But they're so slow when they get it. Yeah. We just said we could get get back uh, in position. And there was loads of times where where they had chances like run that goal and they were running off the pitch and shit mm-hmm. like that. Terrible. Te- so I think the, 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 the problem for them was Mata was 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 a highlight for them and with his movement and balls and stuff like that. But he was just too clever for the rest of his team because mm-hmm. he was getting into positions where to get a ball and the ball would go somewhere else or he'd play a ball where where somebody should be going and there'd be nobody there. He's just. I know we're talking about these, but I'll say this as well. You cannot let go of Lukaku and Sanchez and not replace them. Yeah. They're playing Rashford, who's not a striker up front. Like, you're fucked. You're fucked. So, so Rashford, like, obviously, Just going through that game, like, he was literally... Non-existent? Yeah. The only like, time he, he looked threatened in any way was towards the back end of the second half. He did start to come on the left-hand side. And I felt this is great. Well, that's his position. That's Bruce. that's where yeah. he where he plays. He I was plays for England as well, isn't it? Because Saint was not. He was knackered. He, was knackered. By he wasn't minutes, coming wasn't back, it? and they were flooding down the left hand side. And Rashford moved to the left, and was actually a bit more dangerous then. Mm. But through the middle, he's non-existent. Um, I don't want to take obviously. Uh, of course, Manu was shocking, but I don't, I don't want to take anything away from our lads because because you know, we, they were we, great. We were just getting humped on seven days ago. Yeah, absolutely humped. And so and that's why I've said kind of last last week is that you needed to see a reaction from them. And I think, obviously, you're going in against Man United, you expect them to up the game anyway, but especially coming off the back of that embarrassing performance against Leicester, they've got to go out there and really, really, you know, put a shift in. And to a man, you, you, you can't fault them for the, the effort, the commitment, the way they the played um, in that game. And you've got to think that the weather conditions were probably just as bad as what they were against Leicester. It was absolutely horrendous. They had been pissing doing all frigging day. <laughs> Obviously, we, we know well, more we know, than We know most. that very well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, uh, even first off, I, I've never seen we attack like that this season. That's probably the first time this season mm-hmm. I've saw we go at the game. We, we sat back a little bit. We invited them in. But we, we played our yeah. our game. And, obviously, Bruce had came out in the, in the week and said that he couldn't, he, with the bunch of players that he got and the way that they used to play, and he, he couldn't get them to do what he wanted them to do. do you, what's your thoughts on but, that comment? Because that, that, everyone seemed to kick off about that. It's a, <sighs> Me really kick off as well. It, it is a it, it's a strange one because I guess what he was trying to say is he wanted them to play in a certain way, but because they've played for the last three or three three and a half seasons three now, half, isn't it? Three and a half, half seasons really in a certain way of not having possession, playing on the counter attack. Uh, and that kind of thing, that trying to keep ahead a hold of the ball, passed around a move, just is somewhat alien to Do them. you think he's trying to come in and do too much with formations and tactics? 
Well, well we, 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 we probably can't see it, but that's he probably has been trying to do that behind you know closed doors and on the, the training pitch and stuff like that. And it's and it, that's then translating to them not getting it and not understanding not on, on, on the pitch. Well, I, I said it last week that we've changed formation 10 times in six yeah. games. Well, f- sorry, 10 times is an exaggeration, but about four. We'll probably have during the games. You know, about four. And I think, and in, 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 in fairness, I, I, what I'm... The point I was trying to get at really was is I feel that, that some of the, the things I was saying was a tiny bit harsh. Like he's come out and admitted that, right? The players that were, now Rafa, by the way, last season had said, um, it'll be a miracle if we stay up. Yeah. So mm. so don't start giving us this argument of was that like the people are slagging Busov saying, What do you think the players are going to think of that remark? Well your previous manager said it'll be a miracle if we stay in the division. So don't go down that route so so heavily. But if Bruce has tried to come in, tried, and I'll say a try with because we're being shite. To try and change the style of football, as you've said, try and keep the ball. When we've went on the pitch, we cannot do it. Yeah. Yeah. Period. And Bruce has probably realised, do you know what it is? We're probably our best to just be a counter attack yeah. football side. And, and, and to be fair, so you know, we're talking about Man United. That's what they've had to do over the last, you know, since trying to replace Ferguson because they've used to playing in, in one way. You've now had so many managers in such a short space of time all playing different ways of football well, and all that kind of thing. That, that they're going through that same transition you're also as well. fucked if you're Man United because it's not the Fergie way so yeah. you're fucked you, 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 your template that you're going off constantly almost 4 4 2 with flying wingers it's even worse when you're stood in an old draft dugout that. and you see, <laughs> see Alex Ferguson stand in front of you <laughs> <laughs> well, look, look how much Mourinho used to get stick for parking the bus and, and being defensive yeah. and Mourinho play, basically set out to play exactly like we play now and played under under Rafa. Rafa. Now, in, in fairness as well, like going back to, to how we used to play the game in terms of the counter attack and sitting deep, Saint was such such a plus in regards to that setup. I think if he you wasn't on I mean? the pitch, we'd probably struggle again. Uh, well, I, I it's, probably agree. It, I agree it, it. it it goes back to the, the the end of last season when we 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 made the changes that we did. Almiron came in and we had the front three of Rondon, Perez, and and Almiron. Yeah. That the front three that we had on Saturday, obviously it wasn't the same people. But it was reminiscent of the the formation and the the style and Did way I, that we see. Played. I was watching him and I just thought of Ben Offer every single Never time he got that ball. I because he just looked like he was just going to drop. Is that his the times shoulder. where he just ran and well, did no, nothing with he, it? He was going to drop his shoulder and he's off. <laughs> players trying to tackle him and he was just laughing them off. He was skipping around half and those people pulling his shirt and he was still going, man. He was but dragging I, them behind I, him. I think, I, was it yourself? I, I was drunk last night, but I think I must have mentioned that a few times to you. That that's one of the things I'm so impressed with him by is. A lot of people try to grab his shirt. Yeah. He doesn't give a shit. He's like, yeah. no, you're not having it. I'm, I'm going. And, and honestly, he, the other good thing is he can go either way and that's a nightmare yeah. for a fullback. Mm-hmm. Like, he can go left or right. Um, I, I, I love the guy. I'll tell you what we said the other week is like, you don't know what he, you don't know what to do because he probably doesn't know what he's going to yeah. do because he just starts running yeah. and whatever happens in front of him, he'll, he'll deal with it. There was a couple of times where, where he was running the ball and I was thinking, pass it. Yeah. Pass it. Yeah, yeah, pass yeah. it. Then the last second, he would pass it. And it was the right time. I and the right the time to leave it, because defenders were thinking, he's not going to pass it. Yep. He did two. And like, so, so obviously, the, the one which he did, which, which springs to mind, is the one which gave it to Will Ems, and obviously Will Ems and That's right, yeah. goes on the goal. Yeah, because he but did hang on yeah. that for a very long... In the second half, Almiron uh, blazed, like, pin it wide. He hit it first time. Shocking he, shot, that. It was terrible, wasn't it? Of course, Shocking. From, from my was it was a Gallagher. I thought it was close from my angle, but when it hit the sponsor ball, I then Aye. realised just how far wide it was. Aye. But... Yeah, two good, good chances. Good Almiron here for well. a second because we might as well. Um, I, I have to give him credit in regards to his work rate. Mm-hmm. He's willing to carry the ball every time, and mm-hmm. most importantly, he's willing to still get in them positions. Doesn't hide. He like, doesn't go hiding. The, the one that he really should have done better at. Um, Longstaff played a hell of a ball. First, yeah, what first a off. pass that was. Australia keep earning. Oh no, he gets a slide tackle. He got tackled well, last minute by his Maguire. First touch is beautiful. And, and then he takes another one yeah. and that's, that's sheer it like, seems like when he gets now. the ball though he runs away from goal like it seems like he's always like running like say if the goal's there he's running that way mm. I know what you're saying I. and yeah. it's like I'm, I'm thinking no like try and get inside and it seems I, like I, I don't I, know if it's because he's strong I thought I'm not sure who it was I might, yeah. it might be one of the pundits yesterday yeah. and I said that he, he tries too hard to, to place the shot, yeah, yeah, and he just needs to hit it as hard as he can well, and he, hope for the best. Well, he blazed the one in the second half. Yeah, so you know, either way, but on on that one, in, in my opinion, anyway, that he, he, the lack of confidence is that he, he took a touch which was perfect. The ball was there to be hit. You're about eight yards out. Yeah, I'll take one more just to settle the ball, and then by that time it goes in. If he just had the confidence, he'd take one touch and hit it. Um, but again, going back to my original point, 
he's still making that run. Mm. Now, some players would shy away in the sense of just come towards the ball. Yeah. Rather than getting behind, oh shit, I'll go towards the ball, give us a shot. He, bless him, he's still trying to get behind the defenders. Well, that's it, yeah. He had three three good chances that I can think of yeah. in, in, in the game on Saturday, at least. He's still finding himself in those positions. He's still I think getting in there and having decision it, making is poor when it comes to passing the ball is, and things like that. It is, it is. Uh, that that shot in the second half, prime example. Those those players in the box. Again, good good run you know. Yeah, it is. Run. It's great to get in them areas, yeah. but then you need to start doing something whilst he's in the areas. I know. I, I suppose you're right because you kind of just keep saying applauding like, hard work. But it's I, great getting there. But you when need, he you need something to happen. It's when he missed that chance. Craft. Well, yeah, but yeah. But we're seeing crafts <laughs> in the right areas. Yeah. Obviously, and he's had those great chances. And he's skied every single one of them. That's that. It, it's then the other eighty percent of his game that you worry about. Like, go, the, the one that he missed, the chance that that obviously the, the ground exploded when he when he hit Maguire. Basically, yeah. it was a good tackle for Maguire. Like, but anyway, did you see him after that ball? Though he ran the whole length of the field to come back Get and back. win it back. Yeah. And he could have just a bit like. Well, look at Joe Linton, right? Joe Linton. How, he argued with the official, which it felt like minutes the to handball. me. Not the handball or something. And, People, the fans were saying, just get on with it, you know what I mean? Just get on with it. And he shot, Almiron, bless him, missed a good chance. He obviously would have knew it, but he ran the full length of the field to come and get the ball back. And I was like, do you know what it is? Good on you, like, good on you. I think Joe Linton's getting more and more frustrated, like... It's not his style Just in being... It's being Kind of just left there by, his, by himself. And yeah. He's not used to to being asked to, to hold the ball up and stuff like that, that is, kind of thing. I know, you know it's all in hindsight now, but imagine if we had have signed... Rondon, right? Rondon's come towards the end of his career. I know he wanted strip of wages, so it was not going to happen. But if we had a kept Rondon and brought Joel Linton in, and Joel Linton was kind of like the understudy of Rondon, so they were both playing at the same time, and the overall aim was to, to replace Rondon with, with Joel Linton. I would thought Joel Linton's game would have been much better alongside yeah. Rondon. But you, equally, you've, we've, we've brought Carroll yeah. in, and Carroll's, you know, yeah. th- there's not many better than him if, if winning the ball and holding the ball mm. up. And look, just look at the, what he did in the, the times that he, he came on. He just he just allowed the ball to, to you know, be what a like pushing off Carroll, and stuff like that. Any set piece, any goal kick, he's the one telling them where he wants that ball. Even if he's nowhere near, he's pointing because yeah. he knows exactly where he's going to run. But the thing is, is that that can. That can have a detrimental effect on we if if we keep doing that because it then becomes a bit predictable and like That's well you just know you, they're just going to try and hit Carroll so they just put two players on him something they can't do so got to try and be a bit clever with that one and you know it, make it appear that that's what you want to do but then yeah. you know but then swing a pass miss him get share or something like that on mm. it or, so you've got you've got to use that the advantage as well but he, he won every single header on on Sunday when he came on like. He, he, he did, but the comment that I made is I, I seen him win four in a row and it just went to their players. To nothing. Just went straight to their players. And I was like, right, that's not working. Like, just bouncing off his head, wasn't it? It was. Like, don't get us wrong. He, he, you know, the thing is with Carroll, right? He's like a man possessed. Mm. You see him, you know, he'll literally be nutting people out of the way the to try and hit that ball. Of course, see him coming on the pitch. Absolutely hate it. Now, I agree with what Mark said, though, is exactly right. That I mean, worry is you start going from back to front quickly. You know what I mean? Because you're like, oh, Carol's on, let's get it forward, let's get it forward. So you're right in what you say, you've got to be careful with that. Now, a comment on goal kicks. So, right, actually, a comment about Dravka's just kicking. What the hell has happened if he's kicking? What's There's happened? There's one in the first half. Straight Straight out the it just it didn't even, hit the dugout, it didn't even didn't it? make the dugout, did it? Yeah, I think it was just before know. the dugout hit. Out of his hands, <coughs> they're going so high, but not far. He's, he's, he's out of his hands he can't even oh, kick the ball he was out of his literally hands. high and then not the halfway Straight, wasn't I it I mean what the hell is that about I don't know but anyway but do um, you not think that's because they're almost trying to get it to drop down in front no, of the striker kicks. rather than wanting it for a flick on or something like that I just think they're bad so obviously if you're putting your foot through it it's going to carry the pace on whereas if it's up and it's going to come actually down to allow you to well I, to be fair I, I, I didn't look at the, I'm sad to say but I didn't look at the Bravo's reaction normally when you see a goalkeeper yeah. take a goal kick and it, he did apologise he, he did, did apologise he? Oh, he, he did for that yeah, dodgy that one, kick that one was terrible like, but he's actual kicking out and stuff like that it was uh, it was it's just too hard because he was doing it all the time I'm thinking is, is it that, is it intentional maybe well change it but it might be I, now but I did notice it watch, much more yesterday than, yeah. than I have <clears throat> on a goal kick now, watch the difference between Carroll and Joe Linton, right? Carroll realises you can't be offside on a goal kick. Well done for that one, first of all. So he stands well, well back, right? Which then the defenders either think, fuck, no, do we drop back a bit or do we stay where we are? But... I didn't even know that rule existed, like, I, took, now, I only learned it from Mitrovic because <laughs> Mitrovic started doing it. I was like, he's offside. Again. Is that right? On, on, you're not offside from a goal kick, you can't be. So, 
Carroll stands offside by up. No, honestly. No shot at Honestly, really like it is. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, man. Mitrovic started doing it and I was like, he's offside every single time. I went on Google, I went, what a dick. He's, there's no offside from goal kicks. So, you will watch Carroll. What, what, Carroll is offside by about five, ten, not ten yards, but five yards at least. And he's standing, he's like, oh, I'll have it all day. Now, Dubravka kind of kick at that far. That's not the idea. But what it does mean, though, is Carroll then Google that. can build some momentum. So, obviously... Yeah, like run and jump. Yes. So, the, the goal kick comes out uh, towards him. The defender at this point is a standing, just a standing man waiting for it. Carroll, meanwhile, is getting momentum built up. Mm. And he's, you, you're fucked against Carroll. He's like a horseman. Like, <laughs> you kind of, now, what's the difference when Joe Linton? Joe Linton is quite happy to stand against the, the defender. Yeah. And you're fucked. Wait for the defender to you, win the ball away. Yeah. You've had it. And how on earth Carroll has not been able to see Joe Linton? He has an idea. Stand offside before the goal kick and build some momentum up and then come and win the flick on. And I, Joe I Linton will probably go, offside. But, but well, hey, if I, I'm nobody, and if I can, if I've witnessed that, I'm no one. Surely, Carol, Joe Linton, the staff can say, "What? How come he wins every header?" Yes, he's a man possessed, and he's a big guy. But Joe's a big guy. Let's change it up a bit. And honestly, it worked. It worked every time for Carol. He stands in offside position, builds him up, and then wins a flick on every time. I know he's still looking for it, but honestly, man. And, it, and it, even if well, it says, well, this is the weird thing. This is what's confusing us because it says there is no offside offence if a player receives the ball directly from a goal kick. There you go. A throw in, which yeah, I know that yeah. one, but then it's this one, a corner kick. How can you not be well, off? You can't be offside for a corner kick. Oh, that's because it's on the touch line, line, so it's going to come <laughs> in this line. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, am I right? Yeah, you are right. Um, are you agreeing with us now? Surely not. He's had to Google it first, though. But, but I'm right, though. I'm right. Yeah, 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 right yeah. And there you go. I don't know. Come on. I wonder how many people have listened to this and gone, is that true? Well, I hope so. A throw in, I knew. Yeah. Well, but a, a, corner, surely, surely. a corner now that you think about it, obviously, yes, you can't because you, you, be offside you have corner. to play yeah. ah, but the surely, ball forward from a corner. you are watching the game. So, so you can that, see Carroll's offside every single time so I have a goal. So we know that Steve Bruce listens to the podcast and watches the podcast, well. so now we might be going to do a lint on. <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> you well, can't be offside. But I, 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 can't, well, I can't ever think that I've ever... Well, Mitrovic was the first to ask seen it. It's because it's very rare that, that the goalkeeper is getting it that far over oh. the halfway line. It's not me just bang on the halfway line. That it? isn't the point, remember. That's not the point. Yeah. It's not that he can reach you. It's given you an opportunity. Well, two, two opportunities it's given you. One is there's a chance the defence might go, fuck no, we'll drop back. Yeah. Why, is it, why is he out there? Yeah. <laughs> or, or it gives you the chance to build up some momentum to come and get is it. Is that Rather, a new rule? Well, Mitrovic in the championship did it. So that's a couple of years ago, wasn't it? And he was offside. And I was at the game going, he's standing offside every time on a goal kick. And then I realised that the linesman never flagged. So then I thought... Then you, re- you thought, oh, I'm on the championship. I'm going to go on the maybe. And I Googled it and it said, no, don't get, don't get. As well, that rule might change next year. I'm just saying that. I've, since I've never... I've never heard that rule. I've never even ever noticed it. Bing, bing. So the winner of the Wolf vs. Degas this year. But honestly, though, like, and if you think now that I've said it, think about it. Carroll is every time there's a goal kick, Carroll is is running, he's, he's moving. Joe Linton is just standing, waiting for the ball. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, very it's difficult. It's just backing into players rather than they did, they did, Now that you said that, they do often see him running towards the ball for a flick yeah. down or something like that. But there you go, ding. There you go. <laughs> I'm, I'm just assuming he's standing there, and then as he's coming in to take it, that's when he's done so that he's on side as the ball's. Coming or so, I don't know. Well, that, that, honestly, and, and it works a treat, right? Well, yeah, a treat, but well, you, you, you get his head. You get yes. your, your momentum on now, the, the defender, don't you? Going back to your original point, sorry, about Rondon, nurturing, helping, blah, blah. Carroll needs to say to Joe Linton, right, I've noticed you cannot win a head out to save your life from a goal kick, which I said last week and you disagreed, but he cannot. Do this instead, try this. And see what happens. He might not win a head out either, but I'm just saying. <laughs> well, he's, kind of, well, he's not six foot seven for a start. Like, nah, but when he jumps, he'll be a decent size. At the minute, he's like Shola. Shola was eight foot or something. He jumped. He was four foot two. <laughs> that, that was Shola. I've never seen that guy. He was the biggest guy I've ever seen. He jumped. He's like Atu. I was like, what's what's happening? What's happening, Shola? What's going on? That's what Shola was like. So yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm digressing a little bit. there for a bit, but you know, that's my point anyway. Right. So so mm. a few extra talking points on this one. Al Miron's Bugan. So the dive. Oh, it's terrible. Has anyone saw back? No. I've never saw back, but look clear at day that was a dive. Was a well, I, I was at the other end, and obviously, as he's as he's going through, he he does a good run, and he's heading straight for the, the, the middle. He's going to lose the ball, though. He does look like he's going to lose the ball, and then, but the player does go towards him. So obviously, from you know being the opposite end of the pitch, you think, well, has he has he had a touch on him? Has he gone down? And obviously, you yeah, yeah, appeal for it. I was about a mile away, and realised is that the second time this season, or was that last yeah, season? Yeah, it is high. Yeah, yeah. He's got to cut that out, then. Yeah, so, so he doesn't need to cut that off. 
No, that's all point. But then you see the bloody Liverpool kid game and you see them, them getting a penalty for there it. There was contact, though. Yeah, so... I, I was into a penalty, it was right. contact, though. Three minutes before he then went down. It's contact. So, uh, what's he called, McTominay? Yep. How many times did he dive? Jesus oh, yeah. Christ. Yeah. Did, did, that mean, Yedlin one. You seen, the, the, yeah. you seen that back? No, I haven't, no. No in your arm. Yeah, I thought, you know, at the time, I thought, what the hell is he... No in your arm. So, yeah. so he goes to jump over the tackle. Realizes like how fast the Edlands came in for the tackle, then starts twisting his body in the air. Yeah, yeah. No one here. Well, well. You haven't got booked for that. The, it was a joke. I thought there was a bad challenge on Longstaff. I thought uh, red card all the It was really high, wasn't it? Towards um, the corner. Yeah, towards the corner. I, I was far away from that, but it looked bad. It looked naughty. It looked like, it looked like, it looked like a, a stamp and a slide yeah. down. Now, could you could you see? Is it, well, it's this in control business. I keep hearing. Is he in control of that? That that wasn't. I don't even think he had any intention of trying to win the ball on that no. one, mate. That that. Well, and, like then, a red and then again, you saw again going back to that Liverpool game. You seen Chowdhury, who obviously has got form with Richie. Oh, right. he, he came in sliding from behind, nowhere near the ball, and, and took Salah out. Yeah. And gets booked. He's a dirty. Player. How how is he in control of that? How is he? He doesn't get anywhere near the ball. So how can you even say he's trying to make a tackle? Yeah. yeah. yeah no, you're right. You're right. You're right. Another thing, Fabian Shaw once again, he's kicked the ball away. I think that's the second time this season as well. Kicking the ball away and getting booted. It's a pointless boot. Did you see when he, uh, he he kicked the ball away and he hit the uh, the East Stand roof? Oh, yeah. Oh, he, he, went he, over. Actually, he, yeah. the... he actually shattered one of the lights as well. He knocked one of the oh, uh, front he... lights off. Right. I thought he was going to knock the P off the sports direct yeah. at one point. Oh, the biggest cheer. Oh, that would have been. <laughs> Imagine just seeing Imagine. massive P landing on the deck. Oh, <laughs> well, he, like, I mean, Stand that's some, some kick there to do that. Like. So, I thought it was going to go over. So, obviously, where our seat is, like, obviously, we're like probably in line with the yeah, kind of where yeah. it stops. And, like, obviously, it's going over that. It's going over It's going over Then it just hits the top. <laughs> but I did hit, hit one of the floodlights and knocked the floodlight off, so no doubt that will be coming out of his way just this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Being his pay slip, remove <laughs> light bulb, new bulb. <laughs> I thought, uh, sorry, just to mention one player that I haven't spoken about, I thought Williams, uh, Williams, Williams was, was brilliant. His with, footwork um, is fantastic, you know. Now, it's a couple of times he did the, in the first did a couple half, of little tricks, didn't he? He did it in a few areas where I was like, boy, yeah. like it was quite near our box, if you like, and he was left back and he's like, three players around his that Tarries, and I'm like, oh, just get rid of it, but hey. Fell credit, he's, and he, he's very strong. He's a big he's lad as well, strong, isn't he? Like, and he, I right, see how thick his neck is. <laughs> who, who was the right winger? Was it Pereira? Was it? Or, is that not McTominay? Uh, was Pereira, that yeah, the the Pereira, McTominay, Mata, and Did James, Fred. James play on the left? No, no, oh, it was James. not James in the first half. James was on the right, wasn't he? Not a clue. I'm sure James is on the right. right? Yeah, I James literally looked right? at that team and I was me and Emil were sitting here with Charles. I literally no idea who that is. Well, G- James Emil was sat in my seat. James is a good what player. G- James is a good player. He's doing well since he's come in, but th- th- I think they're resting a hell of a lot on on poor lad shoulders just from Swansea. Like, do you know what I mean? But anyway, mm. he's a fast kid. But Williams guessed every single time where he was going to go, and he just used his power, his weight. Apparently, if you like, it's uh, only between five and eight million to sign him. Well, uh, I, I, well, they'll pay. Of course, you would at the moment, but. Hey, Kennedy was worth twenty five million a couple of years ago. It's so difference just, between just being twenty million and five million for but, someone. The winner. I know, but we we'll, we'll spent five on the Oslo. And, and, and what happened? To him? Exactly, was shit. Well, what, what, that's what I'm saying. But like, that's because it, it, it's a, a low amount because obviously he's had a lot of injury problems and mm, stuff possibly, like that. Yeah. And, and he was injured last week, wasn't he? That's why he didn't play. Obviously, that's why we changed mm. to the back four, etc. Et it's just like I, I watch him, and like he's another one where you've got the hope that. He's got the skill and the mindset to just take players on. Yeah. And that's coming from your left back, man. I think he's Didi Adomi on steroids. <laughs> for me. He reminds him so much. Um, and you, you can't say there's not a player there. God, no. Like, God, yeah. there's a player there. That's it, he just, w- w- he just needs a bit of time to get into it. When comes back fit, does he walk yeah, straight what back happens, in? Because yeah. let's be fair, last week, you see, he's saying no. no, no, no. That's I, what I mean. Know, like, for a goal back, back a week is huge in you football. Because last week, exactly. Bruce was sacked. We walk. Couldn't Look, wait for Richie to come back. Let, let's not get we carried all, away no, here. We all no, said no that, leaders on the pitch. We yeah. all said that last week that, that Bruce shouldn't get another game. I know, uh, and that's it. And like that's why you've got to. <laughs> we said how many more games? You've got we all to, sat here and said none. You've got to think about this. This is one result, and yeah. you know th- th- this is Bestie this is said, all over. Bestie, isn't it? Bestie was honestly <laughs> went should have got the job in the first place. <laughs> like, <he> should, <laughs> <laughs> you, you, yeah. you, you can only react to what is put in front of you and, and, and it's results this like this that and, and, I, and I said it on you know, last night it papers over the cracks for another couple of weeks because we've got an international break yeah. you, we could quite I'm easily so come back that against break, you know. we've got Chelsea Chelsea nice away in a fortnight and yeah, we could go down there and get absolutely mullered because they're Ra- playing very well at the minute so, Rafa was saying one of Rafa's favourite things was um 
getting a win before an international break. Mm. He always thought it was a massive, like a real, yeah. real bonus well, just to gives win you before the. Whereas I thought if you lost in your international break, you can get out your system. I, that was always my attitude. You've lost, right? Okay. It's long I dwell on it, though. Yeah, it? maybe. And he used to always say, uh, winning before international break is really important. And obviously, we've done it. You know, blah blah. blah. Sends you away on a high, doesn't it? So well, in, in fairness, my my questions of last week were massively of. I said it many, many times that the players looked like they were playing at the end of a manager's yeah. tenure. Yeah. I said that. I've said that everyone. Passion, players. commitment, yeah. desire. Now on Sunday they had that. You would have thought a new manager had took over for that game. Yes, and and I question a lot of things on that one. What, what I will have to go back on and say the formation last Sunday was just wrong. Mm. What kind of player for the back? Period. Ever again <laughs> for a lot of years anyway. Um, what I will then also say is I think the players are still behind the manager absolutely mm. I could tell at the end when they were coming off I stayed right back at the end they were all hugging Bruce when they came off I think alright okay right you know still got the dressing room which is an important thing it's a, it's a mm. massive thing you know what I mean so I'm not saying we were being overly critical last week but I know we did say we didn't want it's to imagine crazy, it's crazy yeah, exactly. what a, what a was, weekend football can do but that's what, that's what last week was, was fully fully deserved yeah this week is fully deserved and because he, he they deserves, put in a shift and put in a performance and they did well. He deserves a lot of credit for the changes he made, I feel. Honestly. He does, like, yeah. That he could does, have, right. If we had to get him to be 3-0 late, just say we did, we would have been saying, oh, you're giving an 18-year-old kid a chance forward. You've brought Clark and he hasn't played in 10 years. Yeah, then hasn't played in seven months. These are the things we would have been saying. But we've won and all of a sudden you're like, God, wasn't that a stroke of genius in a way to bring Clark in, to bring Matty in. Bring... It's, 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 just, it's a results game and is, the, yeah. the performance and the results... Influences massively what you, you you think and you feel. It's a difference of what we're saw and shown, which is the major thing for me. Like because like I he said, was back to his best. Yeah, like I said, the start because he's been shocking this season. He's been absolutely diabolical the majority of the season at the start of it, and obviously bringing his brother in, Matty. They looked like they had been there for years. Yeah. Like they were so well, comfortable playing Premier League football. And I know it was against a pretty shitty Man U team, but there's still some couple of experienced players in there, and. They never, well, the, the, they never looked out of place. They're the playing against, totally. they're playing in there against Fred, 50. millions and millions and millions of pounds. The playing in against against Matter, who was a fantastic player. And McTominay, who was meant McTominay, who was meant to be. Yeah. I mean, there's, the, there's talk about and getting called up and stuff like that. It's called a screamer last week. It was awesome. But yeah, no, good. Yeah, you, you've just got to take and like I tweeted out after the the game last night of it's. It's moments like that that you live for as a as a football fan, yeah. as a football player, to to see and experience those things because I was, I was in it's two what minds, it's all you know, about. Obviously, when, when we arrived there with the trolleys, I was in two minds. I was so going wet. And obviously, I was like, shall I go in? Because obviously, Emil was supposed to be going to the pub. Then, did you know that some random bloke just turned up with two free tickets? Oh, yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I was, yeah. So some bloke turned up with tickets and said, oh, yeah. my mates haven't turned up. There's two tickets here. So Mark Spain took one and yeah. Emil took the other one. And I thought, right, we'll go in. We'll see. We'll see how it is. Because I'll be honest, I'm not excited for the games at the minute. I, like it, it feels different from other seasons yeah. for us. Um, uh, you know, it's during the week. Like after Sunday, when we got to be five 0 I was, I was, oh, I was at the end of my tether. Like to be yeah. honest, I remember Monday, Tuesday, I was still furious about it. It was honest. I mean, when I say furious, as angry as if it was a full time, I just could. Yeah. Now, having said that, I will go back to something. Went under Rafa a few times when we lost. The, they didn't seem to stay with us very long. Like, I would get beat. I mean, oh, it's the same as I was saying anyway. Yeah. And I got away on the Monday, and I'm going, fuck. Like, we've lost again. I'm used to it. For some reason, on that uh, Sunday game, I was so livid. But as the weekend week goes by, I personally mm. uh, still enjoy I still enjoy going. I still I still enjoy the feeling of the match coming up. And, the and atmosphere was much better as well. Let, let's give it that. It was, it was better. There was 51,000 yeah. there, they said. So there, there was a few empty seats, not as knowing, yeah, like massive patches what we've seen in the previous home games. No, and it's but, always going to happen because like my mate was there, was a Man United fan. Yeah. You know, so you're, you're going to get a lot of fans that go that are probably Man United fans. Yeah. You know? From our area, sorry. But, but like I see, I've I've seen that there was, was one. Like, there was one incident I seen in the. It looked like like the Platinum Club area, where there was something went on there because the police and the stewards stewards went up, but it was the only, yeah, only thing that I'd seen because there was a big deal about tickets being on general sale and Man United fans getting them in home areas and stuff like that, which well, I, I think was a bit of almost trying to make a bit of trouble. From a situation and stuff like that, but used to work at Liverpool when they were assholes. When they were well, that's why what, what everybody was Liverpool kind of hawking, was wasn't it? That, that was a problem with Liverpool. Too. That was well, but normally, um, if a away fan buys a, a single ticket and sits in the home end, they're normally pretty quiet. Let us uh, be honest. Are, are, but yeah. if you're going to be with 15 of your mates, yeah. you're going to be a dickhead. Yeah, and it's Liverpool, so yeah. But what, what, going back to the atmosphere, I honestly truly believe that. Um, 
having the likes of someone like Saint on the pitch helps the atmosphere yeah. massively because he gets the ball once. Does it excites people, it doesn't it? Carroll came on the pitch earlier and... and yeah, the Rettinger was injured. Yeah. So the, the, buzz, the buzz of obviously having the two long staffs in there right. as well, like it's like you know, a bit fitness, of a fairy tale and stuff like well. that. And we're yeah. playing well, you know. I, uh, the other comment I wanted to make, sorry, before we move on to the goal or the second half, uh, I thought long staff's corners were absolutely, apart from one, were bang on. He, the way he was putting his corners in, uh, so one first much. Half he whipped hit massively over hit, didn't he? Uh, one, he over the, where was Shea's header? Uh, when it went in the end, where it went over the bar? Uh, God, the whip he was getting on them and the power that were coming in the box. How after we didn't go goal down. Yeah, well, yeah. Maguire's, Maguire's header. header. Jesus, yeah. how has he missed that? Yeah. Was how has he missed that? Yeah. And, and even, and Literally even, when I saw him go for the ball, I went, it's in. Yeah. It Second was, half, Rashford, Rashford got into a good position and Cher put in a, a, a last-ditch yeah. tackle as well Tremendous on the near post. Tackle. That was very good. Cher so, had a good game. Though, that, but he? that was their yeah, only, only two chances, really. Yeah, well, Dubravka didn't. Didn't have much to do at all. Nothing. Well, they kind of score, can they? I mean, in fairness to, to my name. Were you a little bit worried with Dubravka with, with the weather conditions and the, the errors that he made against Leicester? Because there was a I couple where, where he was going, like, just picking the ball up, basically, like, obviously protecting the ball and picking it up. And I was thinking, oh, like, it was. Mm. I was worried, and I've never been like that with Dubravka no, before. I, I know I, he's made a few mistakes over the, the last few weeks, but I, I'm not at that stage where I, I worry about him in goal. Yeah. Whereas, like, if Darlow was in there or something like that, when you've got that constant worry, yeah. Um, it, it, let's let, let's get on the goal. He's done more than this, this is what we need to talk about. So, we, well, we, even before he scored the goal, he had that. So he's got he the, had that yeah, sighter in the first half where so he, I thought, beautiful I was, I was tech. On seat. I thought it was in. I was on I seat. Absolutely I thought it was in. So Longstaff's first chance. Well, he Longstaff's hit the, oh, hits yeah, the top sorry, of the crossbar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah. His technique, the way he cuts through that he's, ball, he's beat it here. He's hit it on the top of his boot. Yeah. He's looped it over, and obviously it hits the top of the bar. But the goal itself, it's everything about it's fantastic. Everything. It came from their corner. Well, well. I, I have to give Almiron. A, well, there's loads of people credit, but I thought Almiron did very well. Normal players in that position would just smash it away and think, you know, get rid of it. He took the ball in our box and, and almost beat Young for pace. You know, mm. Went round him, and then obviously fell maximum. And then Max obviously just <laughs> maybe going back to what you said, think he's holding on to it too long. Yeah. Uh, you know, well, well, to be fair, he, he did because he's lost it. He's he gets lost it. he gets to the edge of the box and he's surrounded he's by about six him. six Man United players. And he's like, well, he can't go anywhere here. He's 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 got nothing on. He's he's, he's going to get tackled and lost lose the ball. And somehow he he manages to get it out to to nice. Willems. Yeah. But then it happens with Which, Willems as well because he starts yeah, taking about the ball now. I think he's lost it. It's the gone. The skill he does there, and, and it's as it, if he's almost waiting for you know for somebody to get into the box or so that he can cross one in. on him. And then there's one angle which is coming from from the from the corner where you just see Longstaff screaming forward like it, like a as if to say gap, isn't just it? just put Huge it there. Gap. And Will, Willems looks up and sees him and just it's rolls a it into him. A perfect oh, pass. Did a break straight? Oh. Just a break straight. Any. So well, I honestly think right, and I'm gonna I'm gonna just say it now, right? I feel like we've got Primark versions of Paul Scholes and Carrick in midfield. One of the lads right? at work said that. That's what well. I feel like, and sc- yeah. it, it, this kid can really hit a ball. Yeah. Like his technique, man, on on the shot was unreal. Man. It was unreal. But we've seen it from Sean Longstaff as well. How oh, many yeah, times has he hit it from this so and, and that kind well. of thing oh, as well? So and comfortable. If that ball's rolling, they can either stop it, take it in the stride, or just hit it. Yeah, but he, he almost. He almost places it in the corner, but he places it into the corner with his foot through so, the yeah, boot. So, yeah, so at the time I thought, he's buried that in the corner. But if you look back, it, it doesn't. So he hits it that clearly and with that much force, he's beat to here before yeah, he's yeah. even, yeah. even to, hit to the hear, deck. To, to here gets down close he's to so it, to close be fair, to but it, he's, but he's, he's, he's just put it in there. Maguire's Lovely. right in front of to here. And as you see, the power on the ball... That's it, because yeah. McGuire oh, like sticks his foot back Gosh, to just back that like, his heel, it, it, it's in his, 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 his heel and from the yeah. gear's hand. Uh, going back to the build up what you were saying there, um I think you said it's six players out of Max. Yeah, yeah. Again, that is what having the likes of a Max player does, isn't it? Yeah. Because they've got the ball and they've got Christ's sake, and they all just ran around Max because they thought, geez, and then then it leaves him wide open. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? So Do you know what, the obviously going playing. right back at the start, I said uh, he reminds me like of Ben Arthur. The reason why that is because players are tackling him, well, trying to tackle him, then you always know there's going to be a slide and tackle come from nowhere, just trying to wipe him out. Mm. And we saw that a couple of times, and he's, he's gone. Yeah. He's, he's like, seriously, you know? 
he's, oh, the, especially the first half, he was so comfortable on the ball. I know I'm going back, sorry there, but he is so comfortable on the ball and he can go either either way. Um, but it's making him a real threat from 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 uh, our it, main it, corners. Yeah, I mean? We can break with so much pace. Almiron yeah. and, and St. Maximum, one on either side, yeah. is is perfect for what what we want. And looking need, back, you've got to, to realise the amount of time where, where St. Pace. Maximum just pick the ball up on the edge of our box. Yeah. And mm-hmm. how quick he gets to their box yeah, just is just ridiculous. Yeah. And, and I said this uh, nowhere near the standard of the player, uh, skill wise, but I'm saying it, good areas. I used to always go out of good areas as well. When we're under the cost, you get one player that can get the ball and just carry Drive. it. Just run. And even if you run time. with it and you draw a foul exactly. on the halfway line or something exactly. like that, it, exactly. it takes that pressure off and gets you up yeah. the pitch. Now, you're going to have up. games this season, there's no doubt where Saints going to lose it every time he tries to go around somewhere. Yeah, of course it is. But you have to take them days on, on the chin because at the end of the day, you see what he can offer. That's his first start, and he was absolutely ripping them to pieces. If if but, you get you know. if you can get six performances like what he put in on Sunday in one bad performance, then you'll take that. If it's the other way around, which I, is what more um, and more happened I'd with, take three with and Ben Arfa, I mean, six and one, I'll probably take three and one. The, the, there was one thing that that did frustrate us a little bit with him on Saturday. Was there was an occasion where. He felt he'd been fouled he over on the left hand side, he? and he just sat on the floor for yeah. ages. And they broke, and he, he made no attempt to get up and chase back or anything I like that. I was like, slightly about that when he does get fouled, uh, he does like to let you know that he's been yeah. fouled. If that makes sense, I do worry slightly on that one. But I don't think we're ever going to change that. And if you, I don't think and, if he, and I don't think he's shocked if he ever think he's going to defend because I don't think he ever will. Well, Bruce was screaming in the first half, like, uh, and he, he's not that player. He's he not, was, he's not yeah. going to defend. No, he's not. And and I think, um, I think mind he was you, still he was still. Coming back and cover, he wasn't obviously trying to. He wasn't tackling back and stuff like that. But he was body. at least getting he's himself back and getting That's in it. the way. What I will say, and I agree, if he's not going to come back, the beauty of the formation that we we'll play is, is that your left-hand sided centre half can come out mm-hmm. to the left along with Williams yeah. or Richie, whoever will be there at that time. So you've still got a chance to have two on that side. Um, and if he's hanging back, obviously, if he's hanging back, hovering around the halfway line, you know for fine when he's going to have two defenders on him. Well, you would hope so, and, and I always and I've said this for years, and I said this. Uh, some stuff to say this, but I remember years ago, right? I mean, we played Everton the way it was, right? We had Ben Offer back then, days. And um, what them had Leighton Baines, and when Leighton Baines was really on top form, and he was bombing forward all the time, and I was like, go and stick Ben Offer on the right hand side of midfield. Yeah. Let them worry about us for a change rather than. We didn't anyway. But I agree. Hopefully, if you've got a full bat that's dying to get forward all the time, just sit, just stick Saint on that side and go, all right, you keep going forward, but we're going to sh- fuck it when we get the ball. And it might just make the opposition think twice about coming forward. But so, Sunday was the first time that I'd seen, seen so far this season as well. I'm swapping the wingers, so there was yeah. a couple of times where yeah. we swapped them side yeah. and got. Especially Al- when Atu came on as well. Left the, and yeah. swapped them. I've always been a fan of that. How many times have I said? Yeah, said. Yeah. You know, why? Just, just confused the fans. Why, why not? Why? Why not? Because in fairness, here I will say one thing about the second half. I actually thought the goal came at the most perfect time because I felt we were starting to. We well, weren't really from, doing much. We weren't really doing much. From about six, 60 odd minutes, they started to to ram up the Just, pressure, yeah, we and they started getting bit, back into the game, pushing, pushing on, and stuff like that, and started yeah. putting a bit of a bit of pressure on. And that's where their their chances were coming from. And I, thinking back now, I'm, I'm think our goal came from that corner where Cher put it out at the the near post, if yeah, I remember off, right. Yeah, might not, it was a great um, game. And then an and then went from there. And that once we got that goal, that was. That was it. Were you, were you worried that we were getting a bit too deep when we had scored? Like, Carroll was almost like a centre midfielder. Oh, there was like, times where we weren't even going to one half. Yeah. yeah. I was just but that's because they were trying. They, they brought on three attacking players into the team. They pushed right up and almost went to play four up front because yeah, they put two, two wide and two through the middle. Yeah. So I, 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 I agree. The, the one thing I was annoyed about a few times was... Is, uh, they were getting free kicks in, in dangerous areas uh, and we had nobody up. Uh, up, up front yeah, 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 and I thought just go and stick Atsu there at least that'll take one player away because at one time they had all 11 in their box because yeah. even Dehia come up Dehia and I was like just put Atsu on the halfway yeah. line surely one That's player exactly the same you've got to when I saw Dehia running down I went put one of your fast players just hover just around the halfway line Atsu standing in a one man wall at that time yeah. by the way how am I you could you close your eyes and you wouldn't hit Atsu just you might as well put him on the halfway line and surely that'll take at least one player away if not two I just thought that was poor but it didn't matter really. Didn't yeah, matter, didn't it came nothing. Well, I say when he when he came up at the end for the 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 free kick. Well, actually, just before that free kick it was bloody annoying because the uh, the player picked up the bloody oh, the yeah, shaven yeah. form, picked it up from behind from the ball, moved it like two yards in front, and then moved the ball. But everybody in the corner was like shouting on it, uh, the referee. So he went and had a look and seen it, 
and he just rubbed it and put it put it back where it was. But why is it, it why is it not getting booked for that? Though? Exactly. It's cheating. Yeah. So if if Almond is getting booked for diving, which is cheating, yeah. should he get booked for trying yeah. to see the referee? I mean, how 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 bad how sad are you getting when you're moving foam? Bit of foam. Well, to be <laughs> fair, <laughs> you're moving foam. To, to be, be honest, fair, he moved the ball for it, man. He absolutely just blasted it across the other <laughs> yeah, side as well. So funny. yeah, that was not, yeah. I thought it was one of the worst free kicks, and that that's something like we would do. You know, like the last minute you got a chance and you do that. But, no, what was great though, obviously, they get that corner. De Gea comes up. The well, no, it was a free it, kick. It was a free kick. Yeah, yeah. But then it went, went, go, went out for a corner. And I'm like, oh, I'm thinking, Chris, they're going to put the pressure on. Yeah, and he just blew the whistle. I was like, <laughs> but then everybody brilliant. was like, I know. What's that? Like, what's going on? Is that time or is he giving it a corner? It was like, do we celebrate now? Then it wasn't until the players started celebrating. I loved the Longstaff. We the first people that like hugged for ages. It was special. So when he scored the goal, the players, every single one of those, ran to him. It was fantastic. I, I think Carol nearly took his heat off. Yeah, Carol gave him a little bit of time, didn't he? Go actually, it's uh, your moment. Now I'm going to have you. Now we've got your heat um, off. I thought. Well, Carol was running like yeah. to the Gallagher, pointing at him, yeah. kind of thing, saying, yeah. "Class, I mean, honestly, man, like, because he, he he knows fine well what what that means oh. to be a Newcastle fan and score at home in front of the Gallagher, and yeah. to do it on your on your debut. In, that in, in a game well. like that, and, and with and a goal like that against Man United. Let, let's be honest; it's still Man United Sorry. in the name. So yeah. imagine that can basically can on your CV. Yeah. Debut I'll, goal, same team as Bart against Man U, got the winner. I'll you know what? He he could he could retire a day, and you could be happy. Yeah, but you know what I mean. <laughs> when you look back in years to come, like, and he's going to be telling his kids or whatever. You're not going to say I scored against Man United, but they were shite then, you know. No, no, no. no you won it. You scored on, on my debut. I scored a 30 yard screamer against Man United. There you go. That's, man. What, he's, that's what he's telling Thanks. the kids. Like past the Spanish <laughs> international. <laughs> Unbelievable. Like and and it was. It was. I thought it was amazing. Like, I, was, like, I would love to know what that felt like. Like, I ha- when he hit that ball, yeah. he knew that was in because he started running straight. But wait, away. like, you, you know, like, what what feeling does I, I, that give how, you? You know the feeling we get when I when know. it happens us watching it. Yeah, yeah. Like I know it's like when I if I'm playing five aside, side, so we're like and I score a goal. I think it's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> oh, yeah. But to do it, it's like you say, it's it's the stuff of dreams. I, isn't I think it? for for all the bad stuff that we've been through, and it's been a hell of a lot. It's a great moment. Um, isn't it? it really is a special moment that I think. Everyone can get behind and think, you know. But well, everybody's everybody's smiling. Everybody's happy. Yeah. It's it, it, people. People say what happens on that pitch on a on a Saturday or a Sunday, whenever, whenever it is we play, has an effect on the whole city. It does. It yeah. has. It, it it it's the heartbeat of the city, and it puts everybody either in a good mood or a bad mood. And that that is and I was in moments a very good mood moments like that as I said before it's moments like that that you live for I bet ab- absences and sicknesses at work on the Mondays struggle I bet there's <laughs> going to be a spike in absences <laughs> I, I think what, I think most of us could have contemplated not going in the day like, I, I tried we all made it we all made it <laughs> yeah, yeah, trust we all made it in yeah. well, I, do, was, I just that work from home yeah. absolutely fantastic obviously Amazing. it's buzzing in town afterwards as well and, it is. and we had a great night you were on karaoke your meal was on karaoke it was it's, it's absolutely what it's fantastic. About, isn't it? It's what it's all about. It's it's just I, as I say, and we've said it a few times. You go back seven days ago, how flat you were. We yeah. sat around here seven days ago, and we were we had enough of everything. Yeah. And now Champions League. And that's, and that's <laughs> why. Straight back in. That's Straight why you've got it in. When these moments come along, you've just yeah, got to enjoy, enjoy them. Just enjoy absolutely. it. Absolutely. Because absolutely. you can guarantee. You can two weeks down the line, we'll be sat here depressed again. We will. Yeah, well, you're right. Absolutely. We'll, we'll, be, <laughs> we'll, be the, we'll be the worst team we've ever seen again. <laughs> Right, I'm done. Anything Picks else? Picks and troughs. No, I think it's not spot on. There's only one final thing to say, I think. I won you now. <laughs>